In 2017, I won the Collide Pro Elvisia Residency Award. It gave me the great opportunity to make a three months residency at CERN, which is the European Center for Fundamental Research in Particle Physics. And to be honest, in the beginning, CERN organization was for me like skydiving. I didn't know what it was really and how it worked. When you are a designer, how can you truly grasp something about particle physics research? I am not a scientist. I'm not comfortable with the language of mathematics. I cannot deal with particle physics from the same perspective than physicists. So I needed to find ways, solution to enter the core of particle physics. There are many ways to perceive CERN and their research. And I'm glad today to share with you the CERN through the eyes of a designer. And from this perspective, the CERN experiments on site were a tangible solution to understand a little bit about particle physics research. Can you imagine how exciting it was? I felt like an explorer discovering a known lens. I was immersed in a jungle of cables, <laughs> visiting a generous flora of technical wires. <laughs> Truly, there were bunches of cables in the experiments, and they fascinated me. Why? Because they were connected to unusual, exotic instruments. Technologies at CERN are unique. Physicists invent them to serve truth and universal knowledge about nature. There are many types of colliders depending on what in physicists investigate. They are circular colliders, like the famous LHC, which is the biggest and the most powerful collider ever made by humankind. Here, on this picture, we can see a particle decelerator, which is a whole technology in itself. This instrument was designed like an hexagonal cell, probably because of specific function related to the process of particle deceleration. It is easier to accelerate particles in a cycle pipe, but here, in an hexagon pipe with the angles, it would probably slow them down. So fine engineering design is essential um, for experiment. Without this expertise, this precision, it would be quite impossible for physicists to pursue their research. Here we can see a complex path of radio frequencies in the compact linear collider experiment. <coughs> this device uh, accelerates electrons and anti-electrons. Each pipe here that runs for kilometers in the whole facility is designed with extreme precision. Why? Because the frequencies that need to travel from one point to another to accelerate particles must conserve the exact wavelength. So the design of the accelerator and the spare parts that constitute them were for me a design, I would say a vocabulary of form. Each um, form there is defined by its function. The way physicists build their scientific equipment made me think of the famous axiom of the modern architect, Louis Sullivan, which is form follows function. And it really helped me to understand a little bit about the use of this instrument in the process of particle physics research. 
But you know, we had gone way beyond this vintage and modern paradigm at CERN. And I would say that now, form doesn't follow function anymore, but form follows phenomena physicists investigate. Here, we can see other pipes. They are vintage pipes from the 70s or the 80s, I don't remember exactly. They were designed for specific properties, mechanical properties. But look, I found in them aesthetic values. I mean, they could be pieces of art. They stimulate our imaginaries. So maybe the CERN, by trying to answer this question about the origin of matter and the universe, transcends the realm of physics. Here, another vintage part of a detector, particle detector. Look, this is a sculpture. It could be part of an art exhibition in our museum today. We should consider this piece not only uh, from the science part, but also they could be part of our cultural heritage. This is our contemporary cultural heritage, and it could really impact our art and cultural domain today. Here we can admire the CMS detector 100 meters underground with the, the LHC ring. This is impressive by its size. This is impressive by its design. This is a place that gives you this feeling of still sensing the collision phenomena around you. The um, design of the CMS detector and mainly the design of particle physics instrument share a common aesthetic vocabulary with astronautics instrument, like for example, telescope in outer space. And this is not by chance. There is an unwavering link between the cosmic level and the quantum level, the micro scale and the macro scale. Anthropologists like Sharon Trewick or Sophie Houdar um, use the imaginary of the sacred to describe certain environment they studied. Uh, this is um, common for accelerators and detectors to be compared to religious monuments of the Middle Ages. Uh, Trawick, for example, said in her study, the great accelerators are like medieval cathedrals. And physicists as well use the vocabulary of the sacred to describe and explain their research to the main public. So I would say that certain experiments is maybe a transcendental experience even for physicists. As human beings, we are overwhelmed by the complexity and the scale of the project undertaken. Okay, that's great. But the question is how particle physics research can really serve the design practice and the design problematics. And what kind of design practice can integrate elements from particle physics research. I found the solution, I found the answer in the big data recorded by the detectors during particle collision events. Physicists proceed to data, data analysis in order to track particles, new ones, make new discoveries, and increase the universal knowledge about the origin of matter. They use them to reconstruct particle track during a real 
particle collision event, or they simulate a particle collision event in order to predict new quantum phenomena. I really wanted to bring these scientific methodologies back to us more um, in resonance with our everyday life. It makes sense today to design objects and products that are affected and influenced by our contemporary physics. Then I was really obsessed to create um, this tangible link, this friction between the quantum environment and our environment here, for example. Then I created a design process. And this design process plans 3D parametric tools that we use in design with the data from the particle collision events. And the different tests brought me to the current project, which is quantum nuggets. Particle collision data is concretely implemented in a computer program that allows to visualize them in motion and even to print them in three dimension. Basically, quantum nuggets are um, aims to materialize phenomena dating from the Big Bang. Thanks to this design process, I can generate organic, organic form whose design refers to particle tract recorded by ALICE, which is with CMS, one of the four main detectors of the LHC. This is a new design language that integrate elements of particle physics research. And it goes further, the data visualization, because it really aims to materialize phenomena that are beyond our imagination. So quantum nuggets are transitional artifacts. They connect our world with the quantum world which is usually disconnected, mysterious, and imperceptible in our everyday life. They, you will see our sculpture that raises our perpetual questioning about the origin of the universe. Here we can see a 3D printed quantum nugget. So, you can see the whole process from the raw scientific data to the first uh, visualization in motion. And here, the outcome, which is at the end a sculpture, should be a, sculpt a sculpture. I hope it gives you a concrete idea about how designers can really deal with particle physics resources and how it deeply enriches our discipline and opens new perspective in our domain. CERN had a significant impact on my practice two years ago. It still influences my design work today not only because particle physics is one of the most terrific and inspiring topics, but also because of the collaboration and the great discussions I had with physicists. You know, trying to solve the equation about the origin of everything requires a great sense of collaboration and coordination in the large scale. And the CERN model is a great example showing that human beings from the world wide can collaborate together and solve a universal issue. Thank you.